Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be making Where's the Crust Pizza. This is absolutely delicious. This was a hit with every single person in my entire family. So here are the ingredients that you're going to need. You are going to need cream cheese, a couple of eggs, black pepper, garlic powder, and parmesan cheese and then whatever toppings that you like for your pizza my family is definitely just plain old pepperoni pizza type people except for my husband he could go for the works but that is what we are going to be using i do have tomato paste out as well just because i didn't have any pizza sauce on hand so i'm going to make my own but let's get started all right so i'm going to start with the cream cheese it takes an eight ounce package of cream cheese i measured mine out just because i buy the big huge block at costco but i mean if you buy the small ones from the store it does just take an eight ounce block it took two eggs then i did put in some black pepper as well as some garlic powder and it does call for a fourth a cup of parmesan cheese and i will have the full recipe in the description box below so you can just click on it and check it out for yourself if you're interested in trying this recipe then i just went in with my hand mixer and really mixed all that up really well just so that way it really got incorporated amongst each other then in a 9 by 13 inch baking dish i just kind of spread the batter all on the bottom of that Then I did preheat my oven to 350 degrees, and we are just going to cook that around 12 to 15 minutes or until golden brown. Next up, I'm just preparing the pizza sauce. So that is one can of, it's a six ounce can of tomato paste, one cup of water, a little bit of oregano, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. And then I'm just gonna give that a good mix, and that is a pretty decent substitute for a pizza sauce if you don't have any on hand. All right, so the bottom part of our Where's the Crust pizza is finished, and we are just going to add a little bit of garlic powder to the top of that, and then I am going to throw on some of our pizza sauce. All right, moving on to the toppings. So we are going to top it with some mozzarella cheese. And again, you can put whatever toppings that you guys desire, mushrooms, peppers, um, little pepperoncinis, whatever you want. My kids are just simple pepperoni kids, but definitely just play around with it and make it your own. All right, so once you have your toppings on there, we are gonna throw it back in the oven at 350 degrees and let this cook for about another eight to 10 minutes. All 
All right, so there is the finished product, and it was absolutely delicious. Like I said, everybody enjoyed this recipe. It actually kind of tasted like lasagna, so I think next time I'm going to play around with this recipe and maybe make a couple of batches of the bottom layer and kind of layer this like a lasagna. And my family is a cottage cheese type mm. lasagna family. So I'm just going to play with this. And the next time I bring you this recipe, I think it's going to be in a lasagna format. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm going to try to work on that hopefully here soon. But for now, I think that's all I have for you guys. If you guys liked this video, please consider subscribing. And if you subscribe, don't forget to tap that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And another thing, if you could do me a favor and smash that like button, that really helps me out as well. But I just want to say thank you so much to every single one of you. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And don't forget to go out there and make today even better than yesterday. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye! On my own. But it's all